We've made every leg of our Cricut hammock stand independently adjustable. Whether you're adjusting for entire hammock height, lowering your head height, or adapting to uneven ground, this comes in super handy. First, let's adjust the overall height of the entire hammock stand. Cal's hammock is currently about 24 inches off the ground. Because of his long legs, he likes his hammock to sit higher up, but we know not everyone feels that way. Cal begins by lowering this first leg by about six holes, and because this ground is pretty flat, he'll set the other three legs at the same height. If you're accommodating for bumpy, uneven ground, you can easily adjust for that here by setting each leg at a different height. Once your legs are at the desired heights, it's time to do a visual check. Make sure your legs remain slanted the slightest bit out from your hubs and that your peak is still intact. This looks exactly right, so it's time to make those diagonal lines taut. The key here is you don't want to pull on these lines so tightly that it sucks the legs under the stand. Cricut loves a little finesse, so simply snugging them into place until the line is taut is all that's needed. When tautening the line, hook the prussic loop into the little carabiner, then gently tug the main line until it's snug. We'll show you how to attach your prussic loops to your diagonal cordage at the end of this video. Make the cordage taut on all four legs, and then you're ready to rock and roll. Time to test it out. For safety, sit slowly into your hammock and check your work. Now Cal's hammock is sitting closer to the ground and would be much easier for a shorter person to enter and exit. Next, if you are someone who likes to sleep with your head end lower than your foot end, the Cricut can accommodate you too. We'll start fresh by unhooking all four diagonal lines from their carabiners. Now he's raising the left side of his Cricut all the way back up to full height. This leaves the right side about eight inches lower than the left. Once your legs are at the desired height, it's time for the ever important visual check. The peak still looks intact, so we'll connect all the diagonals once again. Lowering one end of the Cricut requires a slightly different approach to the legs. You'll remember before we told you they should slant slightly out from the hub, but that changes when the two ends are at different heights. Now that one side is lower, Watch what happens when Cal moves laterally. The stand is still holding his weight, but it wants to give way to the downhill side. The remedy for this is to suck in the legs on the taller end until they're just underneath the hub. This counteracts the uneven force. Here you'll see Cal pulling on the lines until the legs are angled straight down. You'll only do this to the taller side of your cricket stand. Now watch again as Cal moves laterally. Cricket is back to being rock solid. At this point, there's still room in the legs on the right to lower the head end a couple more inches, so we'll show you what that looks like. Same process as before, shorten the legs and then make the cordage taut. Now, Cal's Cricket is about 10 inches lower on the head end. Theoretically, if the leg end was on higher ground, he could get an even more drastic height difference. These incremental adjustments on the legs of the Cricut make it easy to find your exact comfort level. They also make your setup repeatable every time. No more fiddling around with your suspension and trying to remember what's comfortable. Now, if you want to know how to attach your prussic loops to your Cricut diagonals, stick around for one more minute so Cal can show you. Okay, when you get your prussics, what you don't want is your knot on the very end because when you're trying to hook it on the carabiner, your knot will be in the way all the time. So what you want is to put your knot right there. And I go with three wraps. A lot of people may only do two, but I feel a lot better that three won't let loose. you want to wrap them and keep them in order you don't want to make it sloppy and have this one over that one and that one over that one you want everything to go together nice that way nothing can move unexpectedly and drop you on your butt
and just pull it tight. That concludes this tutorial. Remember, we are here to help. If there are other tutorials you would like us to make, let us know. Also, feel free to DM us on social media or email us with any questions or comments you may have. Happy hammocking!